Hey guys, it's Quana back again with another video, two in a row. This time I'm going to be reacting to the 2023 remake of Roadhouse. The original starred Patrick Swayze and I think it came out in 1989. I haven't seen that movie since I was a kid. Literally remember watching it with my dad. Probably shouldn't have. This time around, it stars Jake Gyllenhaal. I didn't even know that this movie was in production. Don't know how I slept with on it. Um, it will be coming out on Amazon Prime, which is probably a good thing because people are getting tired of Roadhouse. But I will say, to its credit, I think it's a really smart thing that this is a movie that has had about 30 years of time apart from the original so it can be done in a fresh new way can also bring people to watching the original because let's be honest unless you still have cable and probably stream um oh spike is spike tv even still a thing spike or tbs that's where this movie used to come on all the time when i was a kid it would come on tnt or tbs all the time let me know if you remember those days um so this is probably a movie that most people if they're under the age of 30 have never seen let's be for real so this is the kind of remake that i'm actually okay with because it can drive people to watching the original um the movie industry is huge. There's thousands of movies. People aren't going to go see those movies all the time unless there's a strong fan base that's constantly pushing people to go see it. And certainly Roadhouse is not on anyone's top 100 best movies. It could be on a top 100 action movie. But I think this is really smart. You drive people to go see the original with Patrick Swayze, but also... People will watch because of Jake Gyllenhaal. I do know that Jessica Williams is in it. I don't know who the love interest is, though. But um, hopefully Jessica Williams, maybe. I love Jessica Williams. Um, she is a great comedian. I loved her when she was on The, the Daily Show with Jon Stewart as a cons um, commentator and consultant. Love some of her independent work in her movies. But without further ado, let's check out this trailer because I'm kind of intrigued. We'll see if it's a smart decision to have it released on streaming. Yeah. Before we start, do you have insurance? What? Is your coverage good? Like, do you have dental? Oh, haha. -ha. Is there a hospital nearby? Is it like too far? It's I, about like 25 minutes, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just slapped you. Are you alright? What? Is he really slapping people? <laughs> what? He double so like open palm slapped. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, they made him an MMA fighter. That's kind of cool. This ain't the Holland Dan, pal. I am a moon. A friend of mine suggested I come talk to you. I own a roadhouse out in the Florida Keys. Lately, it's been attracting the wrong clientele. I can pay you good money. Judging by your car, How you need is the Florida oh, Keys attracting the wrong clientele? confused by that. I know who you are. Elwood Dalton, big fan, man. That's right, his name was Dalton. Sure. You just take a big step back and pop me in the face. You can do it. Tell me about this fountain. Yeah, it's all nice, like he's Mr. Rogers or something, but then he'll haul off. <laughs> really interesting guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's respect when you respect the person who broke your arm. I should warn you, people have a certain way of getting things done around here. Oh, they're making this look good. Hey, fellas. Looks like you're having a smash. I got a tip for you. Don't let no one get this close. Oh, that headbutt was crazy. Let me guess. You know, threaten me. Tell me to get out of town. Yeah, I feel like nowadays people would just use guns, right? I don't know, maybe not. Once Knox is on the job, it's over, baby. Okay, it's a straight remake. The names all sound familiar. I just can't let go. People seem a little aggressive around here. Front of yours? No, I just broke <coughs> March 21st. Okay. 
I will definitely be checking that one out. Um, yeah, I kind of was thinking that it would have been cool for them to do some kind of play on him being Dalton's son or something. Um, but I guess age-wise, that wouldn't really work because Jake Gyllenhaal is definitely in my age demographic or older. But it looks like it's a straight remake, just elevated, of course, because it's 2024 now. Um, but I will say it looks good. The action looks good. It looks really shiny and bright. And I like action movies like that. It's giving me um, Bad Boys 2 kind of vibes with the way that it was filmed so I'm kind of excited to see that one I have to go back and check out the original because like I said it's been since 1991 at least since I've checked that movie out let me know if you're a fan of the original Roadhouse and if you're going to be tuning into Amazon um, I will say I feel almost as though Amazon's been making better content than Netflix <laughs> lately so I'm kind of excited um it'll be kind of sad because I think action movies do really well at the theater so I definitely think this probably could have gotten a theatrical release but hey these streamer services they really need some good content nowadays because they've been really not doing their best so we'll check it out and I'll let you know what I think um don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and if you want me to drop more trailer reactions in the future give me a thumbs up comment down below let's talk let's engage let's get to know one another and I'll see you guys next time toodles